If you've ever tried to build a deck yourself, you've probably run into the term tributary area, and it can be very confusing to understand, but it's actually very simple. So let's break it down. Let's use this deck as an example. Let's say it's 16 feet long and 12 feet wide. It's attached to the house on one side and supported by two beams on the other side, each supported by three columns. And let's assume that everything is spaced out evenly. All right, obviously this isn't to scale, but remember we're 12 feet wide and 16 feet long, and the deck is supported by six posts and then the house. To begin calculating the tributary area, we need to find the midway point between each support. And that's gonna look something like this. So we've got four feet, eight feet, and four feet wide. But now we need to find the midway point in the other direction. And that's gonna look a little something like this. And the measurements there are three feet, six feet, and three feet. Now that we have all of our measurements, we can start calculating. Three times four is 12 square feet. 6 times 4 is 24 square feet, and 3 times 4 is 12 square feet. Now we have 8 times 3 is 24 square feet, 6 times 8 is 48 square feet, and 8 times 3 is 24 square feet. The bottom section is going to be 12 times 4, which is 48 square feet. And now you've calculated all the tributary areas for the deck, which will be handy for sizing the footings and the posts.